Hi, and welcome to the weekly salmon fishing update for May 18th. We've got an exciting report for you this week. Chinook fisheries are in full swing here in Idaho, and people are finally starting to catch some fish. On this week's report, we're gonna cover the seasons and rules information for the current fisheries. We're also gonna take a look at some dam counts, hatchery returns, and the harvest reports from last week. I also encourage you to check out the blog that was recently posted by Joe DuPont, our regional fisheries manager up in the Clearwater region. There's a lot of useful information in there that you can use to help plan your upcoming trips. I also wanna let you know we do not have any changes to the current season structure for this coming week. So please check back next week on the weekly salmon fishing update, as well as on the IDFG website to see if any closures or changes to the current seasons are gonna be happening. Well, that's it for this week's introduction. Let's get to the report. This weekly salmon fishing update contains information for Chinook salmon fisheries in the Main Stem Clearwater River, the Middle Fork Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, the North Fork Clearwater River, the Lower Salmon River, the Little Salmon River, and the Snake River. Any areas not mentioned in this weekly salmon fishing update are closed to fishing for Chinook salmon. Currently, the Main Stem Clearwater River, the South Fork Clearwater River, and the Middle Fork Clearwater River are all open to fishing for Chinook salmon seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time, and the daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult. The possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The Main Stem Clearwater River is open from the railroad bridge at Lewiston upstream to the confluence of the Middle Fork and South Fork Clearwater Rivers. The South Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the American and Red Rivers. The Middle Fork Clearwater River is open from the mouth upstream to the confluence of the Selway and Locksaw Rivers. And the North Fork Clearwater River is open to fishing for Chinook salmon four days per week, Thursday through Sunday. Fishing hours are from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time. The daily bag limit is four salmon per day, only one of which may be an adult, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The North Fork Clearwater River is open to Chinook salmon fishing from the mouth upstream to Warshak Dam. The Lower Salmon River and the Little Salmon River are open to Chinook salmon fishing seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time or 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only two of which may be adults, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only six of which may be adults. The Lower Salmon River is open from the Rice Creek Bridge upstream to the uppermost boat ramp at Vinegar Creek. And the Little Salmon River is open from the mouth upstream to the U.S. Highway 95 Bridge near Smoky Boulder Road. The Snake River is open to Chinook salmon fishing seven days per week. Fishing hours are from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Mountain Time. The daily bag limit is four salmon, only one of which may be an adult, and the possession limit is 12 salmon, only three of which may be adults. The Snake River is open from the Dugbar boat ramp upstream to Hell's Canyon Dam. Now that we've covered the seasons and rules information for the existing fisheries, I wanted to cover some information related to dam counts, hatchery returns, and harvest reports. We're gonna start with the dam counts. You can see from the information on this slide that at Bonneville Dam, as of May 17th, there were 3,016 adults that crossed Bonneville Dam on that date, bringing the total to date for 2022 to 121,042 fish. This is over twice what we observed at this time of year in 2021 and is well above the five-year average. At Lower Granite Dam, we're seeing counts around the 2,000 fish per day mark, bringing our total to date in 2022 of 25,359, which again is over twice what we've seen at this time of year in 2021 and well above the five-year average at Lower Granite Dam. The figures at the bottom show the daily counts through time at Bonneville Dam on the left side figure and at Lower Granite Dam on the right side figure. You can see that we've passed the peak of the run down at Bonneville Dam, and we're just uh, seeing the peak of the run at Lower Granite Dam within the last week. Uh, we expect these counts to taper off at Bonneville and continue to remain high at Lower Granite for about the next week and then start to drop off. Looking at our harvest updates from the last week's interval in the Clearwater River drainage, we finally documented some harvest of adult Chinook. 
Most of the fish were caught in the lower section of the river from Camas Prairie Railroad Bridge upstream to Cherry Lane Bridge. However, fish were also caught upstream of there in the main stem clear water, and we did document some harvest in the North Fork clear water as well. I expect this to trend to continue and fish to fishing to continue to be good both downriver and as fish move up further in the system, we'll start to document harvest upriver as well. In the lower Salmon River, things were pretty slow last week. You can see that we only documented a total of 19 Chinook that were harvested in the lower Salmon River. And the hours per fish kept were pretty high in all sections with 43 hours per fish kept in the area from Rice Creek Bridge upstream to Hammer Creek and those catch rates being worse as you get up closer to Riggins. I do expect fishing to be getting better at, in the areas up closer to the Riggins area and I wouldn't doubt to see some harvest within this next interval in the Little Salmon River as well. Just a quick note on the Snake River fishery, we did document some effort there in the last week but we've yet to document any harvest in the Snake River fishery below Hell's Canyon Dam. Taking a quick look at hatchery returns, we've yet to trap any Chinook at our facilities in the Clearwater River drainage. However, we have seen a few fish that have made it back to the trap at Rapid River Fish Hatchery, and you can see those numbers down below. We started with just single digit returns uh, during the first week of May, and on the 16th of May, we had 15 adults show up at the trap. Again, I expect these numbers to start to increase as more fish make their way into the Riggins area and up the Little Salmon River, so I'll provide another update on the trapping situation at Rapid River next week. Well, that's it for this weekly salmon fishing update. If you're one of the lucky anglers heading out this week or weekend to try your hand at catching a Chinook, I wish you, wish you the best of luck. Please be kind to your fellow anglers, pick up after yourselves, and make sure you have a good time. We'll talk to you next week.